Hello and uh, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to be trying Arch Linux on a PinePhone Pro. We're going to be using the Posh image over here to run this. Or actually, I lied to you. I want to do Plasma Desktop, but I don't think I can. I'll do Posh. First, I'm going to download it. And there, now I'm downloading it. And in the meantime, I am going to be rebooting this phone and putting it into a state so I can actually flash the image to my to the phone. I am also going to be taking a backup of the current image on the phone so that I can use it again after this demonstration. Well, I don't know. I might use it. I haven't decided yet. I want to try all of the ones, all of the images that are website. I should be able to just to... I can't remember if it's volume up or what it is to actually get it in the recovery mode. I think it's volume up, if I'm correct. Alright, there. Now I can see the phone. So I can just go into disks. Right here. I can select the partition that's on the phone. And create disk image. There. And I'll, um, you know what? On second hand, I'll just install everything again because. This phone is for tinkering, and I do have the time to mess around with it. Alright, so I do the image downloaded. So now what I can do, do is I can open Belena Etcher, and I can click Flash from File, and I can click the Arch Linux PinePhone Pro Posh, Posh, however you pronounce it, and select the Linux disk right here, that one, and I just gotta click Flash and actually type my password correctly, that would help. And there, it is now flashing. And as you can see, it is going to validate. I'm just gonna click skip. And now I can unplug the phone from this computer. And I should be able just to boot it on the phone. I'm going to be switching over to my Google Pixel now. Alright, so I have the phone over here. I have it plugged into the wall so it can charge. And I'm just going to hold down the power button. And, well, volume down too. Now it should be booting. Hmm. I guess this image is not working. So, not really sure why or what I did wrong. Hello, and uh, welcome back. And I managed to get the Arch Linux to install on this phone, so I am going to boot it now. And actually, I need to go get the username and password for this because I don't remember what the default is. Maybe I didn't get it to install. Hey guys, um, so I just got this to boot. I am so happy. Um, I only got the terminal one to boot, so I'm gonna have to manually install everything here. But hey, it did boot, and I am very stoked about that. So let me grab a keyboard and thing for the USB, which I have right handy, so that's not a problem. And I should just be able to find the password. Alright, now I should just be able to plug in this little thing and yeah I'll show you what I'm gonna do I'm going to manually install KDE Plasma onto this because uh, it didn't come with anything and I want KDE Plasma Mobile on this so I will 
plug this little guy right on in. That works. All right. So it says the default username is Pat is root, and the password is root. So I should just be able to. Plug in a USB keyboard. Oh, and that is not working. So I'm gonna. Oh, was it not plugged in all the way? Maybe. Let me try that again. Okay, it just wasn't plugged in all the way. That's, that's why. All right. So the username is root. Password is root. All right, and I'm in. I am uh, going to figure out how to connect this to Wi-Fi. Pseudo NMTUI, that is what it is. Pseudo, uh, what did I say? NMTUI. All right, edit a connection. Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi connection one. Device. SSID. Okay. Mode. I can't read it. Client. Security. WPA2. Password. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, it says that it's connected. All right, so escape back and quit. All right, sweet. Now I should just be able to run sudo pacman syu to get all the updated packages. Um. Okay, that's a problem. Can it at least ping Google? Yep, it can, uh, it can ping Google. I mean, maybe you would be able to see it if my Google Pixel loved to fo would love to focus, but it usually doesn't, so um, there you go. So it is pinging Google. Um, that's a good sign. Um, I don't know how to set time on this. Is it just time? No. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna figure out how to set the time on that. Well, it looks like I can just run date to find out what the date is. I'm just gonna run date. Um, if I could type date. Tuesday, May 15th, 2025. Yeah, that's the correct date. So why is it failing? It says that there's a certificate problem. Oh, there it goes. I just tried again, and now it wants to work, so that's a good sign. And it says it's going to update a bunch of packages. I'm just going to enter on. There it goes. 103 packages, and my phone will not shut up. All right, so that is finished, and now I, I have a command here <laughs> that I'm going to run, and it should install everything. So just sudo pack that pacman s space plasma dash mobile plasma dash wayland dash session and then kwin and it wants me to install function this but I'm not and then mobile dash config dash firefox and plasma dash phone dash Components. And I'm also going to install Firefox. Okay, so I can't find Wayland Session. So, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, fix this. So, hang on. Alright, so theoretically, I should just be able to run dash s and plasma mobile. And then I can get. All of the other packages um, after 
I'm just going to hit enter for the default. And enter for the default. Enter for the default. Actually, I like VNC. I'll do two. Oh, two. Huh. Can't find plasma workspace. I'm not sure why. I'm gonna try to edit the mirror list, and I'm also gonna put my phone on Do Not Disturb now. I'm not really sure why I'm getting so many notifications. I probably have to install Nano, so I'm gonna do that. Alright. Nano Etsy Pac Man D. Slash mirror list. Yes, that is it. And I'm looking for the United States. And then I should just be able to do all right, this should be perfect. So now I'm going to try to do that again and see if it complains. Shoot, wrong command. Yeah, I'll just hit yes on skipping it and see. That's so weird. I don't know why it's um, doing that. I'm just going to do pseudo Pac-Man reboot. Or not Pac-Man, <laughs> pseudo reboot. Alright, it's asking for a login, so username, password, mm, doesn't look like it's recognizing my keyboard, so let me just unplug it, and uh, plug it back in here. There we go. Fix my angle so that you guys can see it a little bit better. Right there. And pseudo Pac-Man dash S plasma dash mobile. Alright, still does not want to install it, which is really weird. Uh, Hmm. I uh I'm do pseudo Pac-Man that's just by you. And it just says that everything is up to date. So it says that it's up to date. Like if I type date. It says that it's today, Thursday uh, Wednesday, May 15th. So, yeah, I'm not, not really sure why I'm having so many issues here. I mean, if I just manually try to install Plasma Workspace, Workspace. Okay, it wants to do that, so I'm going to do that. Oh, <laughs> look at all those packages. I wonder, what do I get? Alright, looks like it's doing something here, so that's a good sign. Alright, so it did that successfully. So what other command? Alright, I'm going to install Plasma Phone Components now. Mm, it's not fam. Let me try Plasma Mobile again. It says that I can install. Hmm, that's weird. I'm not really sure why. 
Um, hmm. It wants plasma workspace 6.3.4. The current one is 6.3.5. Ha! Huh. I'm gonna figure this out. Alright, so LS. Okay, I'm gonna make their download CD downloads. LS. Okay, I'm gonna use sudo pacman bash get. Yes. Alright, then I'm gonna do wget. And then this is a long thing that hopefully I don't butcher spelling somewhere. Actually, let me get the the um the right one here. None of these are large one arm. Alright, so what it looks like the problem is is that I can't even do that. But hey, what I can do is do sudo pacman as htop. And there you can see it. Arch Linux up and running. I'm using only 202 megs of RAM out of this thing. That's crazy. And I only... Yeah, the phone's not even hot. I can run htop. There's like nothing here. Alright, so I guess I can't do that, but at least I did get Arch to boo. And hey, this is some content for you guys. So I hope you in you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.